Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. This video, we're going to do a little discussion on some of the things we already know that's going to be going on at the Godzilla Fest in Japan November 3rd and some of the things that eh, we might see or we might get. And then, of course, you know, waiting to see how the month of October plays out in terms of what they're going to, other things they're going to release, other information they're going to release regarding what to expect during that event. So let's go over what we know so far. So we do know that we're getting the John Carpenter uh, weekend marathon for uh, classic Toho movies, War of the Gargantuas, Ghidorah, the Two-Headed Monster, Godzilla, the 1954 original uncut Japanese version, and I believe the other movie was Rodan. And this is going to be taking place from November 3rd to November 6th. Now, uh, the other thing we know we're definitely getting is the animated short or the CG short of Godzilla versus Gigan Rex, which I'm definitely looking forward to that. Hopefully we will get to see that on YouTube when it posts. So those are two fairly big events we know are definitely going to happen. Uh, some other things that we can guesstimate. Uh, so We've talking about Giga Bash before, as you guys know, I have purchased the game. I'm kind of holding off my review until the DLC drops that has Godzilla and apparently some other monsters from Toho are going to be in that DLC. Um, so a lot of people believe, and this would be cool if this comes true, that that DLC will launch that weekend of the Godzilla Fest on November 3rd. And so, uh, we haven't gotten an official release timeline from the studio, but one of the biggest guesses that everybody's thinking is that it's going to release during that weekend. So that would be cool if that happens. That's another pretty big deal in terms of what's going on that weekend. You'll have a, a DLC to play for Giga Bash, which uh, apparently, you know, from what I can see on Twitter and from what other people say are... It's probably the biggest monster game right now out there. I know there's Dawn of the Monsters. I have not personally played that one, but I've heard good things about that one as well. But Giga Bash seems to be the the um, overwhelming favorite amongst uh, gamers. So, uh, so yeah, it would be cool that w if we were to get Giga Bash DLC that weekend. And uh, so that means I'd have to wait on my review that long. But again, we still haven't gotten an official release timeline or release date from the studio. So there's still a chance it could come before that or after that. But I'm I'm kind of leaning with the the, the masses here who are who are guessing it's going to release that weekend. It kind of kind of looks like it's playing out that way. So we'll have to wait and see. Now, usually during this festival, there's there's tons of things that are usually on display that weekend uh usually there's a lot of figures coming out around that time you get more uh releases for figures they'll put them on display so you know toys for the collectors and things like that now sometimes and i'm not sure if this is for the godzilla fest particularly but i'm 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 feel pretty certain that there was a monsterverse uh reveal of some sorts a couple of years ago i believe it was for before godzilla vs kong came out before the dates got shuffled around, um, we heard uh, some of the soundtrack from that movie uh, during a festival. I don't know if it was Godzilla Fest or not. It, it might have, it might very well have been, but it was. It did come out of Japan and it was leaked online, and that's the first taste a lot of people got as to what to expect for the soundtrack for Godzilla vs Kong. And that was very cool. Now, I don't expect anything MonsterVerse related, even something as simple as releasing some of the soundtrack because the film's still in production, doesn't come out till 2024. This is 2022. So I wouldn't expect anything MonsterVerse related. Um, even from a toy perspective, I suspect we'll be getting a lot of that stuff middle to late next year. Usually some of the other things they announce during these times are like DVD remasters. Now, I, I don't, I have a, certain number a very small number i think only two actually uh godzilla movies on blu-ray from the original toho i have 1954 no i also have 19 i have 1954 1984 and godzilla versus violante all on blu-ray so um i'm not sure if every movie in the toho lineup has been released on blu-ray but usually this is the kind of event where you might hear some news about media um 
whether it's a box set, whether it's uh, going from uh, standard to Blu-ray or from Blu-ray to 4K. So I would suspect we'll hear something media related in terms of Godzilla. Uh, that's usually something that they always announce as well. So media related. Uh, oh, of course, the mobile games. So as you all know, they did announce some time ago. There were two, I think, three games being developed for the monsterverse in terms of i think one was a pinball game and uh that pinball game is not a mobile game it is like i think it's going to be pc and console it's going to be a you know one of those like ten dollar games but it's going to be a pinball game with like monsterverse creatures or whatever and then there's supposed to be two more mobile games so i'm pretty sure we'll hear about that on november 3rd because the mobile games have been developed in uh japan and uh uh i know that while legendary is tied to these three games the studios developing them are in japan in fact one of the studios makes games for the switch exclusively so i'm pretty sure we'll hear something regarding those games that were uh announced in development earlier this year i'm pretty sure we'll get more information on those so for those who are interested i know not every not everybody likes the mobile games and even if you like mobile games, the mobile games that have released so far for the Godzilla franchise, whether it's from the MonsterVerse Legendary or from Toho, have been very poor. I think the only one I played that I thought was halfway decent, and I, I, I continue to forget the name of it, but it's the one where you, you pull like a card and you play the card and you're defending the city from like another monster and... So, and then you, you can play as many different versions of Godzilla. You open packs, you can upgrade the cards to give from like Silver Star to Gold Star. Um, that one was the only one that was halfway decent, but it just became extraordinarily grindy after a certain point without obviously investing a, a certain amount of money to, to kind of push through. And as much as I like grindy games, <laughs> that was even a little bit too much for me. So I completely stopped playing. So yeah, I think video games, definitely you're going to hear some stuff about. You're definitely going to hear uh, about more figures coming out. Um, probably um, updates on media. Some of the Godzilla media from the older movies either being upgraded to Blu-ray or 4K or being released in a box set. That seems to be a, a, a annual thing. They don't, and they do a couple of that at a time. I mean, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure there are still quite a number of Godzilla movies that have not even made it to Blu-ray, let alone 4K. I don't even know if some of them can be transitioned into 4K, but I'm sure they'll find a way. Um, and I would say there's going to probably be at least one big, big reveal. And my guess is, like I said, a couple of months ago, it was either earlier this year or late last year, Toho said they were working on a new kaiju movie but they didn't say what kaiju it was they didn't specify if it was a new ip or if it was another godzilla film um if it's a godzilla film they would obviously reveal it here uh but if it's not then i would say scratch that prediction on a big reveal for a movie because it's godzilla fest so they're not i, I don't believe <laughs> they would announce a different monster or a new monster movie on a festival weekend that's dedicated to Godzilla. So now chances that it's a Godzilla movie they're working on, I'm going to say it's pretty good, but uh, you know, let's see, you know, we still got a month away. So there's going to be a lot of other announcements. I'm sure of events going on that weekend, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to hearing what comes out of that. You know, obviously as you know, here in America, we, unless you fly out there, we can't really attend. A lot of times what goes on over there in terms of these events are usually pretty shoddy in terms of what gets like leaked online and stuff like that. Like I said, uh, like two years ago or three years ago, we got like the music from the Godzilla vs. Kong movie and that was leaked from, I believe, the G-Fest that year in Japan. Might have been another fest too. I'm just, I just don't remember. But uh, I do know that when these, uh, these events happen out there, um, you know, there there's usually there's usually some big big things that happen i don't expect anything monsterverse related it's way too early for that i would say maybe next year you know what i mean um but i do expect all the other things you know media updates on on current godzilla movies 
new toys, new figures, new X pluses. Um, you know, obviously the event with John Carpenter, obviously the Gigan versus a uh, Godzilla versus Gigan Rex. You know what I mean? Uh, perhaps Giga Bash is releasing their DLC that weekend. Again, we don't know. So those are some of the things we definitely know. Those are some of the things that I'm guessing we might see. And if there's anything else you guys are hoping to see or you guys think we'll definitely see, let me know in the comment section down below. That is it for this video. Until next one, this is Rob signing off for ETN, where we don't do news, we just talk entertainment. Take it easy.